What is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels. Now, in another episode, you guys asked me to take something like the Porsche 918 Spider out to see what a hypercar was like on these tracks. So that's exactly what I'm going to do this, like, straight up in the first part of the episode. Um, after that, I'm also going to take I'm also going to take out an A-class car so I can finish some of these A-class events um, and an A-class car that actually has grip, unlike the one that we used previously. So, uh, we've skipped Porsche. Where's Porsche? Come on. There's Porsche. And there's our maxed out X-Class 918. So, time to tear some tracks up with this beast. This thing is, is gonna just, like, it's a rocket ship. Um, so, I'm just, like, I'm just curious to see how much track it'll just eat up. Well, first off, it's nuts. Okay. It spins all four tires. Got our road discovery going. Oh, dear. God, if you ever get into trouble, just pull the e-brake and then just stand on the gas. You'll be fine. You'll be 100% fine. You just pull the e-brake, stand on the gas. Good to go. Is this a drift zone? I don't think this is built for this. Oh, God. Yeah, no, the 918 is not built for drift zones. I mean, we can attempt them, but it's not built for them. We need to bring a drift car back here. Yeah, definitely not built for drift zones. Good grief, not built for drift zones at all. This is built for speed. God, I'm gonna feel like I cheated if I get, like, if I get three stars here, I'm gonna feel like I cheated. It was a new personal best because I've never done it before. I was gonna say, what? Okay, that shouldn't have been a, I'll go ahead and say that right now. That shouldn't have been a three star. I also don't really understand why there's a boost strip right into a corner right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, let's get this car under control first off. Now, let's try to drive it without going off anywhere. Oh, come on. God, driving this thing on the Hot Wheels tracks, like, driving this feels like I'm driving a Hot Wheels car. Like, this legit feels like driving a Hot Wheels car. It does not feel out of place here one bit. You kind of have to, like, if you're going the opposite direction of the way the boost was supposed to be intended to be used, you kind of have to, uh-oh, these are the waves. Oh, God. Oh, the, those sections are high, 240. Those sections are kind of sketchy. Let's see. Oh, let's see where this goes. Oh, does it lead to that loop over there? I think it does. Oh, sweet. Well, you can kind of make it lead to that. You can also go off-road here if you want, which we're not going to do just yet. This is about seeing what it's like to drive a hypercar on Hot Wheels tracks, which so far is proving to be a lot of fun. It just eats these tracks up. It accelerates through the loop, like literally. It doesn't even care. Massive banked loop corner. Oh. oh god, oh god, oh god. Woo! Breaks, 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 breaks. Wow, okay. I'm actually surprised we were able to get stopped, like, even close to in time. I'll tell you one thing. If you want to get the whole island explored as fast as possible, use a 918 or another hypercar. But a 918 works quite well. Go, go, go! Oh my god! Excuse me! Woo! Oh, the jump goes through the loop! Oh, that's awesome! I feel like it's it's really expecting you to have a lot less of, like, a lot less powerful of a car going over that jump. Jeez. Go, oh crap. Go, go, go. Oop, they don't show you this on the map. Oh, God. Oh, those are going to so be chaos online. Little e-brake rip on the way, on the way in. Almost said on the Wii in. The speed trap was three. Like, okay. Th this 918 is perfect for this. Oh, God. I'm going to hit that loop one more time, but at over 200 miles an hour. And now I'm going to go into photo mode and see what happens. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. 
Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. That just that just turned it up a notch. Wow, that just turned it up like 10 notches. Yeah, not a notch. That's like 10 notches up. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, so now we're going to move on and go back to the races so we can complete some more of the campaign. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. And, oh god, if we can do this like 260 miles an hour, jeez. Oh god, don't, don't, don't crash out. Don't crash out, please. I'm not going to break this time and I'm going to see what happens. Just a, just a crash. Hey, we're on the beach now. Okay, perfect. So, uh, A class. City chase. It's a sprint. And you know what? Since we're looking for something with grip, I'm going to go ahead and use my 350Z circuit car because that car has so much grip, it's unreal. Like, it has so much grip, it is ridiculously unreal. I know this car won't actually work, but... All right, let's see. Here we go. Our 350Z. We'll get this thing out on track and uh, should be able... I know it's a little underpowered. It's like right around 300 horsepower, maybe a little less. But uh, So it's a little underpowered for this. But the thing is, we have the boosters in case we need to get over jumps. We also have um, like so much grip that we'll be able to go flat pretty much everywhere. So uh, I, I'm not too concerned about this car. I'm really not. I think it's going to do just fine. Oh, come on. Load now. All right, City Chase, we got a Focus RS 575, big off-road truck. What a nice, diverse group of cars. All right, let's get this started and do it. excited, 25,000 skill points, that's good. Oh my god, that's going to be easy as crap to get. Yeah, everybody is more powerful than this car. Everybody in this race, pretty much. So, I'm gonna... Oh my god, he took himself out. Big time. I love the lights along the edges of the track, too. That's so cool. Hello. Oh, didn't mean to hit him. I meant to go around him. For God's sake, that's Jeep guy, too. Oh god! I didn't see that coming. Oh! I didn't see that coming at all. Like, okay... Breaks. Oh god. Ugh. Please make it. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna have to carry a lot more speed through here. We're gonna have to stay off the wall completely. Otherwise, we're gonna pay dearly for that mistake. I don't know if we have enough power to do it, honestly. I, dude, I don't think we have enough power for that. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna have to go back and turn left instead of right. Hopefully, I have enough time to actually make that. Oh yeah, I do, I do, I do. Okay, I'm gonna have to go left instead of right. Now I see why everybody went left. You just gotta make sure you got a lot, you have a lot of power if you want to go right. Cars like to whip on these tracks. Like, if you get them right into the hook of the, uh, like, if you get them right into the hook of the banking, they really like to whip, and you have to be ready for that. All right, one dude left for our Z. Come on. Go! I may actually pull the, uh, the bone shaker back out after this. Go, 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 whoa, whoa, God. Ugh, no good. I'm having to learn these tracks as I go, too, so. Nice little spit of flame back there. I'm still, like, hard on the throttle. Whoa, what? Oh, is he, like, those guys are, like, way in the back. Okay. I was like, where's he going? No, no, no. No. Okay, yeah, that was total crap. I took that way too tight. Ugh. That was crap as well. Nope. Oh, my God. Everybody's trying to go inside. Everybody's trying to go inside on that corner. 
And the problem is they all have more power than this freaking 350Z. They all have more power. And out handling them sometimes works, but not all of the time. So you kind of have to be careful. All right, come on, gotta go get that Camaro. The Camaro is really the only big concern right now. Because if we get out onto a straight, his V8 is going to pull away from me, no question. Oh, this might be my chance. I was way too low in the revs. I needed to be higher in the revs. Come on. Come on. Go. Oh, come on. See, that's where his V8 torque and power comes into play. Dove in too early. Apexed way too early. Oh! Oh, what up, son? What up, buddy? Come on, there she goes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Got the line down on that corner as well. Oh, crap. We completely ignored the skill points target, so we're only going to get two stars for the... or two medals for this. Damn. That's okay, though. I mean, I think that that kind of makes me realize that the Bone Shaker is really perfect for A-Class. Because you can get all those drifting targets, you can get all those skill targets, no problem. But, but, it's also fast enough and handles well enough to keep pace with everybody else. So, the Bone Shaker is kind of the best car for this class right now, in my opinion, anyway. That was amazing, boss. Oh, we got an S1, though. Hell yes, which means... Which means that we've got the twin mill now. So I, oh my God. Some S1 cars for these next tracks, boss. That's not a choice, I'm afraid. The Hot Wheels people say you'll need the inertia. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be good. Jeez, there's vents popping up everywhere. Holy crap! All right. So this is perfect. You know what I want to do real quick? I want to actually, well, here, I feel like, will they have delivered another car? Yes, they will have. So, let's grab the, yes, let's grab the twin mill, because I feel like they will have just added it right here. Get over to Hot Wheels. Oh, there she is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's awesome. I'm going to drive this thing around a little bit, and then in the next episode, we're going to really take it out and race it. Oh my god! Jeez, the first person view is nutty! And then the hood cam is right in between the engines, so you really hear both of those superchargers. Okay, yeah, this car is freaking fast. This is really damn fast. Oh god, really damn fast. it slides the back end like nobody's business too like you get on power and this thing like delivers torque on demand like that holy crap oh this is so good this thing is so freaking cool oh god oh god oh god oh god Oh dear, oh jeez, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright, well, in the next episode, the next episode is going to be totally focused on the Twin Mill, so hope you guys will stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comments below what you thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.